Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So, today I will show you how you can jailbreak the latest iOS 18.3 on the iPad 7 generation with the Pelrain jailbreak latest version 2.0.2. This is the only iPad model that is available in the Pelrain jailbreak list that having the support of the iOS 18 officially by Apple. So you can easily jailbreak it on the latest iOS 18 for this model. And you can check out on the screen I have already updated the iOS version for this iPad to the latest one. So now we will move further to the jailbreak part and this video mainly focus for the Windows user. So if you are a Windows machine you can try this method but if you are a Mac user I have already made the dedicated video on that so you can check out on my channel so now without further delay let me just go to my computer screen and start this process all right first you have to download some jailbreak files that include the jailbreak iso so all these download links are in description or you can go to my telegram channel you will get there first you have to extract these files. you can use winder or any zip extractor let me just extract it on the desktop Okay, now here you will get this folder, you will get this ISO file and the Rufus software. First open the Rufus software. Now next you will require a empty USB stick. Now next you have to import the ISO file. You can directly drag and drop on the Rufus tool or just click on the import and import the ISO file. After that simply click on start and it will start making the USB bootable. Alright so bootable process is done, now you can close the Rufus tool and restart your system. Now next thing you have to boot your system to the BIOS menu. Now the BIOS menu and the shortcut key might be different as per your brand laptop model. So you can google it and just search it. You will get the BIOS shortcut key and you can just go there and find the booting menu and you have to just select your USB name there and hit on enter and after that your USB will be directly booted. So you can just google it you will get some information about your BIOS settings and you can easily do that from there. Once your USB getting load, you will get on this screen and just wait for some seconds and you will see it will do some verbose boot for the Linux environment. So you have to just wait for some seconds and after that you will see the Pelrin jailbreak terminal screen will be there. Now it's here. Now before I start the jailbreak process, let me just clear the supported model list and the supported iOS list as per the devices. Now in the iPhone supported list, iPhone 6s to iPhone X are supported and the iOS version, iOS 15 and iOS 16 are supported. Now in the iPad supported list, there are lots of models including iPad Air 2nd generation. It's an old one that is running on the iOS 15. There is the iPad Pro 10.5 first generation, iPad Pro 1st and 2nd generation, iPad 5th generation, 6th generation and iPad 7th generation. The latest iPad that is running on the iOS 18 that is the iPad 7 generation that is supported for the Pelrain jailbreak. So these are the models that are supported. I've already mentioned the list on the screen so you can just pause the video and check it out. And the other iPads or iPhone model that are the newer one that is not supported. So please don't use that on this jailbreak. It will never work for you. Only use these supported models and then everything will be good. So now we are all set. Now let's proceed further for the jailbreak. Alright so first you have to connect your supported device and on the terminal you will get some information let me just zoom it in and you will also get some warning just ignore that that will not affect the jailbreak process. You will get the latest Pelrain version 2.0.2 and it will ask you to connect the device it's just showing you waiting for the device. Now first time if you connect you will see the trust option on the device hit on trust and you will get some another warning on the terminal just ignore that you just have to unplug and replug your cable and after that you will see your iPad will be directly go into the recovery mode. Okay so now your device is in the recovery mode. 
You can also try to connect your device in the recovery mode or DFU mode directly and then connect with the terminal it will directly detect and start the jailbreak process. Now next terminal will ask you to hit on enter and put your device in the DFU mode. You will also get the DFU instruction on the terminal screen. So just follow that. Now once your device is detected in the DFU mode it will start jailbreaking your device and you will see the Pongo OS running on the iPad screen. So now you can see that. Okay, so now here is the important part. In some devices and in some iOS version, while you jailbreak your device, you will see your iPad or iPhone will stuck on the Pongo OS screen. Like you can check out on the screen, I'm getting the same situation. The device is stuck on the Pongo screen. Now the solution is very easy. You just need to unplug and replug the cable. And after that, you will see the jailbreak execution will move further and the terminal part will also continue and it will execute directly. So now you can see that we are getting the Pelbrain boot loader that means we are good and on the terminal also you will see the booting pongo os is done and also in some cases the terminal will not quit automatically so you have to manually quit by the control and c and in some cases it will directly quit the terminal so now let's open the ipad now wait for the pelerin loader to come on the home screen make sure your device is connected with a wi-fi Okay, so it's here. Now make sure you connect it with a Wi-Fi and just open the Pelerin loader. Now next you have to install your favorite package manager that comes with the Pelerin jailbreak that is the Celio and Zebra. And also you can check out its settings. Like you can see it's a rootless jailbreak. And if you want me to cover the full root pool jailbreak, just write down in the comments and I will make it. And you can see there is a restart springboard and the other options. So you can check all these settings. So I'm just installing the Celio to show you. So just click on that and install Celio. Okay, so now it will ask you to set the sudo root password. You can type any password you want and after that proceed it. Okay, so it's done and you will see the Celio icon on the home screen. Just open it and proceed. Okay, alright, so we have successfully jailbreak the latest iOS 18.3 on my iPad 7 generation with a Pelerin jailbreak latest version 2.0.2 .2, rootless version. So now you can install all the supported tweaks with a Pelerin jailbreak. And to restart Springboard manually, you can just go to the utilities and click on that option. And after that, your all the tweaks will take effect and it will be working good. Also, you can go to the update section and update all the required packages as these are the important things before you can install any tweak so that your jailbreak experience will be good and all the libraries and the important files will be already updated to the new version okay so everything looks set you can now continue using the Pelerin jailbreak and install your favorite supported tweak so now that's all for today's method and if you want to reboot your system just quit the terminal by control and C and after that type reboot or power off and hit on enter and just remove the USB and that's it. Your system will be on again or you can change the BIOS settings and just select your hard drive and after that just boot it from and then you will see your windows will be load again. So that's all for today's video session. I hope you gained some knowledge through my content. If yes, just hit the like button on this video. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel for more cool updates like this. I will see you in another video. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.